Hi everybody, so I'm going to quickly go over as best I can the solutions to the quiz. I'm going to try to do one page. Sorry about that, my mic slipped. I'm going to try to do one page at a time. So you can fast forward to whatever page works best for you. Uh, take a close look at what you missed and why you missed it. It's really important that you get feedback, um, especially if you're going to do uh, quiz retake. All right, so the first one, algebra. A is V squared over R. I'm going to write that as A is V squared over R. Cross multiply. R times A is V squared. Therefore, R is V squared over A. Many of you put A over V squared. In this one, I want to solve for A. So I'm going to divide both sides by X minus X naught, the whole thing. So this whole thing cancels out. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. Let me restart that. I got to move the V naught squared to the left so that becomes v squared naught v squared minus v squared naught so that's gone now i divide by x minus x naught and then i get divide by the two so there is the a one okay this is moved over one two so that's 2.50 times 10 to the negative two and in terms of sig figs um we don't count this. That's a placeholder, but we do count one, two, three. So there are three sig figs. Here are decimals there. I'm going to go over one, two, two point oh eight times ten to the positive two, and all three count as sig figs. So uh, this is a total of one point for each of these. One, half point for this part, half point for that part. Okay, um, two point three centimeters to millimeters. I go over one decimal to the right, so that's 23, and to go to meters, um, centa to base unit, if you write it out, is two to the left, so I go one, two, and that's 0 0.023 meters. 0 0.02, or kilograms of grams, I move over three places, one, two, three, 25, and pico means 10 to the negative 12th, you look that up. So you could write 21 times 10 to the negative 12th, that would be fine. I would also accept 2.1 times 10 to the negative 11th not negative 13 because I'm making this number a smaller number here so I got to go from here and make it bigger. 10 negative 11th is bigger than 10 negative 12th. Okay mass of an apple. So an apple is maybe a pound, maybe a tenth of a pound. In other words you, you, you might need 10 apples to make a pound. The point is if it's one pound that's close to 10 to the zero kilograms. I would have accepted that. More likely, you're going to need a few apples to make one pound, so this is closer to 10 to negative 1. So either one of those is acceptable. Distance from C to the middle school, uh, I would accept anywhere from 10 to the 2, hundreds of meters, meters to 10 to the 3. Either one is fine. Do not put more than one sig fig. Some of you did that, and you lost a half point. Ratio of diameter of atom to nucleus. So atom is 10 to the negative 10th, if you go to your sheet. Nucleus is 10 to the negative 15th. I accepted some variation on that. Um, there was some wiggle room, so you didn't have to have the exact same numbers as me, but some indication you're in the ballpark. And then the ratio, where many of you reversed them or just did it wrong, is the atom, negative 10, over the nucleus, 10 to the negative 15th. So many reversed that. And even if you had this, you got to be careful. When you subtract these, that's 10 to the 5th. In other words, the atom is 100 times 100,000 times bigger. You should not have 10 negative fifth, which would indicate it's smaller. Okay, how do we find a number of pennies that could fit across there? Here's what I'm looking for. This is a three and a half point problem. Um, this one was worth two points. Each of these was worth one point. So uh, you could say, uh, I'm just going to go right to it. So estimate length and width of room. Okay, some statement there. That's a half a point. So I'll find area of the room by doing length times width. There's one point. Estimate the radius or diameter of penny. Area <coughs> is pi r squared. I could I would even accept length times width because you can treat it as a square. Okay, so these each of these is worth a half point, some statement thereof, and then divide area of the room by penny. Okay, and that's worth one full point. It's not good enough to say estimate the area of the room or estimate the area of the penny. How do you estimate that? You've got to go into some specifics there. 
Okay, bonus, if you did it correctly, you should get around 10 to the 6. I think I also ex uh, uh, accepted 10 to the 5th if you plug in the numbers from above. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm going to keep going since I had, this didn't take as long as I expected. One second. No, actually, I'm going to stop here. My bad. And I'll, another video will capture the second page and probably the third page combined with that.